Cyclone Freddy continues across the Indian Ocean. Well, the odyssey continues for Cyclone Freddy, which remains a strong Category 4 on the Sapphire Simpson scale at 15 degrees south, 78.5 degrees east. And it has entered really the western half of the Indian Ocean now and is starting to eye up those islands and Madagascar ahead of it. 145 miles per hour right now, still 230 kilometers per hour, a pressure of 935 millibars, moving nearly due west at 17 miles per hour as of 9 p.m. local time in Mauritius on this February 16th. That's a movement speed of 27 kilometers per hour. Here it is right now displayed on the map. You can't see any land areas at this point, it's still too far away, but as of 9pm local time it had winds of 145 miles per hour and a pressure of 935 millibars displayed there. Distances from land, it is currently 1,680 kilometers from Rodrigues, 2,293 from Port Louis, 2,521 from St. Denis, 2,570 from the island of Tromelin, and 3029 from Antalaha in Madagascar. So we are still several days away from those impacts being felt in all of those locations, possibly, uh, or maybe just a couple. Uh, but it does appear likely that this storm will no longer recurve. I think that's been quite clear for a while, and it will impact somewhere along those islands. The primary hazard, of course, is damaging winds right now, which could impact the Mas Madagascar or the Masserine Islands. Destructive winds over the weekend into early next week of over 120 miles per hour possible if you get close to the center of the storm. Even away from the storm, the wind field will gradually expand and you could be in for tropical storm force winds later on. And we can display that forecast now over the next seven days. This is the distribution of those tropical storm force winds. That's gale force, 40 miles per hour, 65 kilometers per hour or more. And the current forecast track threads it through uh, north of Mauritius, south of St. Brandon, and then on towards Madagascar on Tuesday into Wednesday, moving out over the Mozambique Channel, where it could get strong again. Now, there's a lot of uncertainty in that track forecast. It could make landfall on Mauritius or Reunion. It could make landfall further north in Madagascar. The current uh, wind uh, estimate spread there. You can see that some of the satellite estimates have it as down as just below 130 miles per hour, but generally we're staying quite high at 145, which is what Matea France and the Joint Typhoon Warning Center are currently agreeing with. Here is the Meteo France track forecast, and you can see that their forecast is quite similar to both the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and what we put out on that little graphic just a moment ago. And they're expecting the storm to remain intense all the way along there, uh, st staying at quite a similar intensity to what it is right now. This is the GFS model output showing what it thinks will happen to the storm. Now it does initialize it a little bit on the weak side, so it's probably gonna be stronger than what it's displayed there. And that is quite clearly hurricane equivalent force winds affecting Mauritius there before that seven day period ends. And the GFS takes it a little bit further south as well as to what the other uh, agencies are saying there. Uh, the ensemble spread takes it further north. That's what we used on that forecast earlier. But the GFS parent model there takes it further south for a hurricane equivalent landfall in southern Madagascar and then eventually on into the Mozambique Channel. Here is a reflectivity guide as to what you might see if radar was in the area and you can see it gradually increases in size and then it goes on to affect the islands, gets a little bit shabby later on. Also I want to point out another system behind that as well becoming a hurricane strength storm although it looks like that one recurves. Another look here at the radar graphic just to show you that there will be high amounts of rainfall as the storm brushes through there as well. Not as high as we might see from other storms due to its speed by the time it's moving through there, but rain rates, I guarantee, will be quite high. 
and let's take a look at the total rainfall expectations over that seven day period. Now, what causes flash flooding isn't always displayed here, that's down to rain rate, but certainly for more prolonged flooding issues, we look towards the total rainfall amounts and it does look like the northern side of the storm will be producing the highest amount of rainfall. Look at those rainfall totals, 3.2 inches in Mauritius, 5.4 in Reunion. Uh, 3 inches, that's uh, around 100, uh, just less than 100 millimetres of rainfall. And in southeastern Madagascar there, higher amounts, up to 11 inches, that's over 250 millimetres in total, and a little bit less than that further north. Sea surface temperatures are definitely decent for th this potential um, still powerful tropical cyclone to sustain itself with temperatures still over 26 degrees near Mauritius uh, but ahead of it before Mauritius and Rodrigues it's around 27 Celsius near the coast of Madagascar around 26 and off the western coast of Madagascar up above 28 degrees there a warm area and that could cause further strengthening after it passes over Madagascar. And now a close up of some of those satellite pictures that we've been looking at. It is still a fairly small storm in the grand scheme of things, especially when you look back at those wind radials uh, in the early part of that forecast. Uh, but it will expand gradually, as does happen with pretty much every storm. Uh, and this storm has continued its trek really well, continuing westward, still very strong. The eye has been popping in and out. Uh, under nighttime hours now as you can see wrapping around with that eye wall it's maintaining at this time it's not as good as it looked yesterday when it was flirting with category 5 status uh, but right now it is still looking decent it could still revamp itself and get stronger again but at the moment it is just consolidating you can see all of those red zones that's the minus 70 degree cloud tops wrapping around and the eye is fading in and out but it's definitely there We'll have more updates on this storm as it progresses and nears those islands.